Hey friends! So today I'm going to try out a new curling iron I got. This is the Hoson, Hoson um, curling iron. It's a half inch barrel. It is tiny, tiny, tiny. I actually used it yesterday one time and my hair came out beautifully. Um, so I'm going to try it again today. Um, but this half inch barrel uh, with a pixie cut makes a stunning, stunning hairdo. So, um, I actually am in a different place today than my usual bathroom. I am in a hotel room. I am going to my daughter's uh, college graduation today. I'm so super excited. So I'm kind of getting all spritzed up for that. And um, I'm so very, very proud of her. She is getting her bachelor's degree in um, music performance for the clarinet and she plays absolutely be beautifully um, but yes we're very proud of her and I just thought it would be kind of fun to shoot a video while I'm here in her college town and um, getting ready for this event okay so my hair does look dry but it is still kind of uh, damp um, I'm gonna do a quick blow dry and um, we'll go from there. All right, so just making sure there's no like little damp spots in my hair maybe a little bit more on the top. Gonna do a quick comb through here. So here's what I did yesterday, and I think it worked out really nicely. Um, my hair is, if you can't already tell, it's pretty straight, and it doesn't take curl that great. Um, I mean, it will curl, but it'll fall out. So I have to use some kind of product. So this is Amika Undone. This is the texture, uh, spray texture, um, volume and matte texture spray. And um, what I notice is if I spray my hair with this before I e use some kind of heating product like um, a curling iron or a flat iron, it, it keeps the, especially a curling iron, it keeps the curl and it keeps it all day. It's crazy. So um, I'm gonna do a good spray of this and um, then we'll start curling. By the way, I have, do you see how long that is? That is crazy long. I think, I think this is meant for people with longer hair, but it works really great for a pixie cut. Um, it's extremely easy to use. Um, it has a thermometer. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's hard to see, but it says uh, you can change the temperature. So if the temperature is too hot for your hair, you can lower it. I have mine set at 375. I don't know what the right temperature is, but it seemed to work perfect for my hair yesterday and it didn't burn my hair at all. So um, I'm gonna go with 375 as my standard. Um, it also came with a glove, like a heat glove. I don't necessarily think you'd need that for short hair. Um, it's got this little end here. So, um, I think maybe if you were doing long hair and wrapping it around the barrel, um, maybe that would be different. I'm going to spray my hair with this undone texture spray. So... So 
I know this is anti-intuitive, but I'm gonna comb out the texture spray now. It'll just help get the curls better. All right, honestly, this looks good. I could go just like this, just with a blow dry and texture spray. Um, but I just want to do something fun today. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now, you have to decide which direction you want the curls to go in. So do you want the curls to go back? I don't. Um, I did forward yesterday and I thought that looked really cute. I did have the curls going forward and my husband came into the, the bathroom before I had kind of like messed with it and kind of styled it and just the, had the curls in there and he thought it was so funny looking. So I'm just warning you guys, it's going to be funny looking. Um, we're going to start back here and you're going to need some kind of comb. Um, to use the end like this and just get a piece. Kind of comb it out a little bit. Um, so I could go back, but I'm gonna go forward. Okay, so you see that took the curl really nicely. Um, I did that about, I would say six seconds, seven seconds. You definitely don't wanna burn your hair. So you've gotta be really careful not to leave it on too long. And you also wanna make sure not to get too much hair, depending on how curly you want it. Too much hair in one go. And you can see on that one, it grabbed some of the hair and some of it fell out, so I'm gonna have to do a separate curl there. So my mom and I drove down yesterday. Um, we've just been having a good time. We met my daughter and her roommate and her boyfriend for dinner. And um, my mom and I actually hung out last night in her hotel room and we did each other's nails. So if you can't tell, um, I have a whole like gel nail set um, and if you want to know how to do gel nails, I'll link the video above. But I always do her nails. I, uh, if you're a new subscriber, you probably don't know. Um, my mom lives next door to me, which is absolutely wonderful. And, um, we just hang out a lot. So, we, we go on um, little adventures together and this is one of them. All right. I'm gonna start doing some side curls over here. that it's so long 
it's it's it actually is easier to use in my opinion than a regular curling iron but I haven't had a curling iron in years um, I used to have like a one inch barrel curling iron when my hair was longer and I just thought oh you really can't do much with a curling iron with short hair but you really can this is probably not a style that I would do on an everyday basis this is just kind of like a special occasion style um, but honestly if you got a little bit larger barrel you could really do this as an everyday style um, but it is really it is super it ends up being super cute so I think I'm gonna do um, my bangs here. One thing I noticed yesterday was I went under for my bangs and I think I'm going to go to the side. They were just always looking, trying to uh, fold under all day long. So we'll try to go to the side here on my bangs. And we'll do that for these as well. There we go. All right, I'm gonna keep going here. Gotta keep track of the time. I have 30 minutes before I'm meeting my mom downstairs. I'm curious, do you guys use a curling iron on your hair? Most people, when I look up um, pixie cuts and curling irons on, on YouTube, um, most people have a lot longer hair than I do um, when they're using a curling iron and it and they use a, a larger barrel so it always comes out super cute um, but the other thing I use um, on my hair is a pencil flat iron and it can also do kind of a similar thing um, to this but it's it the curls turn out a bit different um, they're not as tight as this Okay, I must have had this on for too long because it just shut off. So I've got to wait for it to turn back on. So that's good to know it has an automatic shut off. I was wondering why it didn't take that curl in the back. All right. All right, man, that heats up fast. Okay, we're back in business. So I have seen different styles with short hair with the curls on top. Some people leave the sides non not curled and the top curly, and some people go curly all over. Um, I don't think I want to do anything with these and just leave the short sides here, but I did put curls right here. The question is, what do I do right here? I think I need to add a few curls uh, on the side here.
and maybe back here. Maybe just one more in the back. Okay, here's the fun part. The fun part I think is when you're ready to put some texturizing putty or texturizing taffy in your hair and kind of get it right. I actually just, this is new for me. Um, if you guys have watched my videos, you know I use the Kenra brand hairspray. I really like it. Um, and so I looked up um, to see if Kendra had any kind of texturizing putty or whatever. They do. They have this thing called, boy, you can't see that at all. It's, it's Kenra Texturizing Taffy. And it smells really good. It, it almost smells like candy, but it's like purple and it's definitely sticky and you don't need a lot. Um, so I'm just gonna get a little bit on my finger here. It's also runny, but I'm gonna get about that much. And you want your curls to be somewhat dry here. So I'm gonna rub this in my hands and I'm gonna use my hands to start kind of combing through my hair. You definitely can go super curly and don't mess with it very much, or you can comb it all the way through and then get some texturizing stuff on your hands and do that. Um, I like the definition of the curls, but they just kind of have to be um, loosened a little bit with your hands. Oh, that came out so cute. I'm gonna use a brush in the back. The back's a little more tricky to deal with. I really like what's going on in the front here. I did not want just a bloop, a little thing going under, but I do like that um, it's kind of swooped to the side. All right, let's show you the side here. in this side. And I'll show you the back. Well, I think this was a success, guys. I, I'm i super happy with how this looks. There's one little, one little curl that's sticking up there. Let me just mess with that for a sec. Okay. Um, super happy with how this looks. Um, I'm gonna spray it real quick. And again, this is Kenra Medium Spray 13. Definitely want this to stay today. And um, yeah, well, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I hope you have a good week next week and thank you for coming along with me on this little adventure and um yeah i think this i will link this um 
curling iron down below um, in the description. It's H-O-S-O-N, Hosan, and it's a half inch curling iron. So I think this turned out super cute. Um, definitely what I would consider an updo for a pixie cut. And I don't know, it. I think it came out cuter than when I did it yesterday as well. So um, this is definite a definite thing we can do to kind of fancy up our hair. Anyways, I hope you have a great week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't. I love my subscribers. Um, and um, hit that notification bell so that you're notified when my videos come out. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.